Hello everyone, this is Amar Kumar Ram. Welcome back to my channel. This is another video in micro frontend communication in multi repo playlist. Today we will add the custom builder package that is Angular Architects forward slash model federation package in both the projects that is host app and remote app. So let's quickly do that. First of all, we'll stop the server of host app and we'll run the command ng add at the rate angular hyphen architects forward slash model hyphen federation. Now we'll provide the project flag and the value of it will be the project project name which will be registered in this custom builder package that is angular architects forward slash model federation with that we also provide port flag and provide the signed port 4200 and will present as we can see three files have been created and five files have been updated so webpack config has been created webpack prod config has been created and there is a bootstrap.ts file has been generated so if i go inside source this file has been generated which has all the code which earlier main.ts was having now now main.ts is not having any of this code and just referring this bootstrap.ts file if you open this see it is just importing the bootstrap file so it is a structure of micro frontend architecture and that's why it is just importing the new created file bootstrap.ts with that we have multiple files updated one of that is angular.json so if we go to angular.json then here you will get the assigned code that is 4200 and this has been assigned for the project post time now we will similarly assign a dedicated port to remote app and we will integrate this custom builder package to it. So let's quickly do that. For that we will stop the server of the remote application and we will run the command ng add at the rate angular hyphen architects forward slash module hyphen federation. Now we will close all the files and we will open angular.json file of remote app and search for ports. As we can see there is no key with the name port. So we will assign a port to the project remote app and the port would be 4300 you can give any port number i am giving 4300 and will present so it will ask for you if you like to proceed to install and execute this custom builder package will say yes now we can see that a port key has been generated in the angular.json file for the project remote app let's see the value of it and the value assigned to it is 4300 Similarly, we have webpack config.js file what we had in host app. So the same thing has been generated in remote app as well. And the same structure has been generated in remote app. That is, bootstrap file has been generated which has all the code of main.ts file. And main.ts file is just referring to the bootstrap file. One more thing to note here that we are working on the latest minus one version of Angular. Current version of Angular is Angular 16 and we are working on Angular 15. Both the application, whether it's remote app or in the host app. If you open package.json of host app, then here also we are using angular 50 further development we'll do in the coming videos if you have any query till now then please ask in comment section i'll surely provide answer and if you like this video then do press the like button also please do share with your friends and colleagues and if you're new to my channel then kindly subscribe to this channel do not miss any future notification so let's meet in the next video till that be happy take care signing off